bogey for E8 under? How would you assess your round? Uh, that's a lot better. That's more like it. Um, it was, I mean, obviously the conditions are perfect. The golf course is awesome. It's in great shape. Greens are, when the greens are this good and it's the weather's like this, you got to take advantage of it. And fortunately, I did that today. I, that's obviously as well as I've played in a long time. Drove it great. Iron play was really good and nice to see putts go in as well. So um, it was as complete as round as I've played in a long time. When you're seeing a 60 up there, do you know you got to go low <laughs> and it's out there? Yeah, I mean, I, I forgot it was a par 72. I thought he shot 58, so I really had <laughs> our minds blown. But that's awesome playing. Um, you know, anytime you shoot 60, it doesn't matter where it is. That's golf in your ball. So hats off to him. And uh, fortunately, I got off to a good start as well. You said your irons are filmed strong. Is there anything since Napa you've been looking to fine tune? I, I got into Dallas and worked with Randy Smith. And I, everything's just coming together. He simplified a lot of stuff for me. And I've seen stuff at home. I just haven't seen it on the golf course. So it was, it was nice to see it out here today. I mean, nothing's due or overdue, but it feel like a round like this was kind of coming together. As, like I said, I've seen it at home. I just haven't seen it out here in a long time. So it was, it was, it was nice. I knew it was coming. It's hard to stay patient out here sometimes, um, but fortunately, I've done that, and nice to see it all pay off. Just one more from me, Gary. When you're playing well at home and you know it's not translating, just what are some things that are kind of frustrating, and just how relieving is it to see it translate now? Oh, it's all frustrating. Everything <laughs> is, um, and you play like this, and it makes all that time worth it, though. I mean, it, we get it. It's a grind. I've been out here a long time. It, there's a lot of ups and downs, but <clears throat> when you're coming from where I've been and you're starting to see signs, it's it's been a little easier to stay positive, um, and. It's been nice to shoot some low rounds at home, but uh, a little frustrating out here. But it was nice today, like I said, just to put it all together. I've had days where I've hit it well or I've putted it well. I just haven't done it together, and it was nice to see that today. Cool. Yeah. Gary, just what are your thoughts on how the uh, the golf course was uh, playing today? I think I, I really enjoy this golf course. I think it's a, a really solid golf course from tee to green. The greens are as good as we see. Um, Maybe a little soft, and that's probably why you're seeing so low scores the way they are, but they're rolling perfect. Um, when they're this soft, you can probably be a little more aggressive with the iron play, so that's probably why you're seeing low scores. But the golf course, I think, is, uh, is, is really, really good. How does the golf course kind of evolve over the day as we get in the morning to uh, the afternoon, and how does that affect how you attack the golf course? <sighs> when the weather's like this, I mean, we've, we're hard dealing with hardly any wind, so I don't think there was usually – it's nice to get off to a golf course with no wind in the morning and it picks up in the afternoon. Today, there was just no wind. So I think that's why you've seen low scores from top to bottom throughout the day. Um, the golf course probably didn't change very much. Does seeing a 60 right off the bat um, uh, in this golf tournament kind of uh, <clears throat> almost make you feel like you have your work cut out for you? Or is it more encouraging in so far as that you see a low number out there? I think it's more encouraging. Obviously, 60 is a little different. Um, but you're, you saw low scores throughout the morning. So you knew you could be aggressive. Um, the conditions stayed the way they are, and fortunately my game was in a posi position where I could go out and attack, and uh, turned out pretty good. What did you think of uh, what David was able to uh, pull off today? Obviously he's had a long career on multiple tours to go out and shoot a 60 here. Just what does that, uh, what does that bring to mind for you? It's, it's awesome. I'm happy for him. I mean, at the end of the day, I don't care where you shoot it. 60 is 60, and to come out here and do it here um, – like I said, there's some low scores, but 60's on another level. That's uh, that's a special round, and I'm sure one he'll he'll always remember. Thank you. You got it, guys. Thank you. Thank you.